So, two weeks ago, Bray Wyatt assaulted me as I was going to address the WWE Universe. Then, last week, he sends his followers to take out the world champ Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns. If Bray thinks he can do whatever he wants without consequence, he is wrong. So, this week, Bray Wyatt will face Brock Lesnar one-on-one -on -one in the main event, and the rest of the Wyatts will be banned from ringside. With that taken care of, it's now time for Tag Team Action. Whoa, not here to fight. You and me would make a great team. see another hot one and these teams have been waiting for this one and so have I here we go and all four of these competitors are looking to make a statement tonight in the tag team division don't be surprised at all if these guys attempt to one up each other in this one as a three-time WWE tag team champion these guys are gonna have to be pretty damn good to impress me well, all that being said these Miami fans have left South Beach and are sending the Richter scale north with every cheer every stomp and scream let's talk about Kobe Kingston for a moment in a tag team being a good partner is as important as anything else how can he do his part tonight in this one it's still early but i really like what i'm seeing from him and his partner here tonight there's such a strong unit in there that i'd look for his team to take advantage of any mistakes their opponents make and get out of here with the win Cutting off the flow of air. Hey! And he fights out of it. He breaks the hold. When the name Kobe Kingston is announced, audiences fill the arena with a deafening roar and celebration of one of the most loved superstars in WWE. Fans don't Kobe steps through the ropes. They're going to see a fierce warrior who can dazzle them like no one else. he's known for. Yeah, you're right about that. He's made a name for himself with this. How's that for ferocious? It's like someone hit the repeat button for this move. Yeah. Brutal. Second time around. Seems to work, though. Whoa, take a look at that. We haven't seen that one tonight. I love something new. You know, Michael, when we talk about the special bond between Kofi Kingston and the crowd, you can tell immediately how special it is because no one has a wider smile on their face than Kofi himself. 
The energy from the crowd gives Kofi the strength he needs when he has to dig down deep to battle an opponent. It's a good old fashioned butt whooping. Yeah, that's exactly what we're witnessing. A butt whooping. Finisher. This match might be over. It only takes a couple of those to bring his night to an end. And Kofi Kingston makes him pay in the worst way on that exchange. There's the finishing move. Don't know if you have. It. Will this be enough? Hang on. It's a true testament to Kofi Kingston when you go from arena to arena and the crowds chant his name and take pictures of every move he makes. The audience and even his opponents know that they are going to see the performance of a lifetime. We know, Cole, it's something we've talked about and everyone knows. Kofi thrills the crowd and rocks opponents with a type of offense that most can only dream about, let alone try and execute on an opponent. Turning it around, it's Kofi Kingston. My God, his body's been through hell and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. And off the tag is Blake. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Oh, he's in trouble now. Athleticism knows no bounds, and neither does his vertical leap. Kingston's sonic boom type of offense is so amazing that he's been given the nickname the Wildcat. And we all know Wildcats are fearless. It looks like Blake has got the momentum. Yeah, he's really needed things to go his way. What an impact to the ribs. Athleticism. I'm enjoying Kofi Kingston's work right here. Nice. Really pushing his opponent to the limit here. Look at Kofi Kingston, Kofi. I wouldn't sweat that. He had a small slip up. He's fine. been through hell and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack and i hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe that's it he's done this is insane does this building have a curfew i feel like we might be here all this could do it maybe it there's the kick out yeah just you can't teach heart, believe me, when I tell you this guy is filled with it. Let's hope Blake's stamina can hold up. Man, Blake, what offense? Yeah, incredible. <laughs> Gotta be careful not to take on too much more damage here. Continues to punish his opponent. Oh, this is bad. Man, oh man, did he take a wild swing with that one. You're right. That was wild indeed. Good thing we're over here. What a reversal. Oh, look at the emotion. This is a wreck. He's moving like an uncaged animal. Oh, my. He's wild in there. They call this could do it. I think so.
A fever pitch is here in the WWE Universe. You're right about that. The crowd is buzzing. They're ready for this thing to get underway. Boy, he is really tired now. For the pin and the win. Oh, no. Hard shot now. Nasty landing. He's taking some serious damage. Yeah, this young man, I'm sure, is not used to this kind of damage. Man, he, look out! Look out. Look out. <laughs> We've seen some great tag team action over the years here in WWE, and I can attest that this is no different. Choosing to watch WWE on this Monday night, we promise to bring you a great night of action. Well, I've never seen him do that before. Oh my God, his body. They call this can do it. I think so. Oh, his body has to be broken right now. Pushing force on that elbow drop. That had to put a hurt on him. Set on his chest. 
Boy, he is really tired now. That tank of his has to be reading empty. It has to be, King. But I still don't see him giving up. He can do it here. I think he's got it. says a lot about a duo. Here are your winners, Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods. The New Day. And there's your winner via pinfall. That's what I like to call a statement win, Michael. Boy, I don't think we're going to have too many disappointed viewers at home. Not with action like we just saw. The following contest is scheduled for a one fall, making his way to the ring from West Newberry, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena. There he is, King John Cena. John Cena. It's all about hustle, loyalty, and respect with John Cena. His time is now. These two have been waiting for this one for quite some time, and to be honest, so have I. And his opponent from Perry, Oklahoma, weighing in at 275 pounds, he is a real American, Jack Swagger. Oh boy, we're in for a treat tonight. Both of these superstars look geared up and ready to go. You know, it's gonna be tough to beat last week's Raw, but matches like this one might just help put it over the top. Thank you for joining us tonight, folks. We have an amazing oh. night ahead of us. Yeah, and we're just moments away from tonight's opening match. I can't wait. Right out of the gate, we've got a huge match. Heck, every match tonight is huge. Great offense by John Cena. How about we touch about Jack Swagger a bit? Jack Swagger is always a threat when it comes to singles action, Michael. And tonight should be no different. In addition to being an NCAA All-American, Swagger has already held the WWE gold, including the ECW Championship, the World Heavyweight Championship, and he's a Money in the Bank winner. The offense of Jack Swagger is working well right now. Going for the double play with this move. Jack Swagger's technical wrestling ability is without equal. At six foot seven and 260 pounds, Swagger's freakish strength breaks an opponent down. I've been in there with him, and you don't realize how big Jack Swagger is until you're standing there nose to nose. possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. Yeah, you really have to enjoy hurting someone. <gasps> Looks like Swagger's starting to slow some. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. It looks like his toughness is about to be tested. Well said, John, and now's the time for one of these guys to take hold of this match. Swagger's definitely tough to match up against. His grappling ability can twist you like a pretzel, and his strength can crush you. Oh, and don't forget his speed. That runs right over you. John Cena with a nice reversal. Cena with a textbook counter. Yeah, you know, I know some people don't want to hear it, but the truth is, John Cena is so technically sound. What a fierce kick. Executed that maneuver. Cow clutch. He 
needs to figure out a way to get to his base and break the hole. Whoa! And he fights his way out. Jack Swagger taking on some damage here. I'd say he's starting to feel the pressure a bit. You said it, and he does not want to let his opponent gain some steam here and start to get the upper hand. Yeah, but at some point, one of these guys is going to pull ahead. And that might just be what we're looking at here. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Fans despise Jack Swag. What an insane move by John Cena. Now that a finishing move. This thing might be all over. Look out, John Cena is measuring the attitude adjustment. He's won another. When you're beat up, the last thing you want to have to deal with is he got the job done. This one's over. Oh, man. He's got to be hurting, but feeling good at the same time. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah, but you can really feel tension in the air. This has been building for Weeks and weeks. Uh oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I wouldn't go out there if I were you. Well, he's going to finally try to take the fight to him. Like I mentioned, this thing's been going to blow up here, King, for weeks now. Yeah, but this could be a big mistake. Yeah, it finally may happen tonight. And going oh. after one another. A big right hand. Here we go. Oh. Balls underway. Chaos is doing. And now some, uh, some security down here to separate these two. Get them apart or let them go. Here oh. And here it is. And his opponent, representing the Shield, from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 225 pounds, Dean Ambrose. Look how he walks to the ring. Ambrose actually claims to be the solution to WWE's problems. Well, I don't know about that, but I do know he's crazy. He's the lunatic fringe. He's scary, man. Oh, this capacity crowd here in Miami really looking forward to this one. There's the bell, and here we go. We're all along for the ride on this one, but make no mistake about it, we're going to have a winner. I think what we could see here is a classic chess match between these guys. I mean, one that's going to take power, speed, and aggression to win. The greatest sports entertainment in the world. But I know this, the fans of the WWE, both here and at home, are all fired up for this one. As the action continues, let's discuss Dean Ambrose briefly. Well, we're going to find out who's the better competitor, that's for sure. No gimmicks here, just some good old-fashioned one-on-one action. You have to be ready for anything with Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose can go stride for stride with any superstar in WWE, no matter how big or small. Ambrose launches a frenzied assault on opponents that combines brawling, air assaults, and submissions. Well, Michael, what makes the attacks you mentioned even more deadly for an opponent is that Dean Ambrose is one of the most unconventional superstars we've ever seen. No one knows what he's going to throw at any opponent next. must be damaging to his sternum. Damaging to his entire chest. Oh, how much 
pain must that neck be in now? Dean Ambrose's range of skills certainly venture into the unusual, but the attacks and strategies helped Ambrose become the longest reigning United States champion in WWE history with a 351-day championship reign. That's the third longest ever if you include the title's history in WCW. Look at to catch him off guard. Quick ref, can He's got plenty of gas left in his tank. You're right, he kicked out with ease. Just making his presence felt there. in a level of punishment that can only be described as severe. No kidding, this is getting ugly. You know, Dean Ambrose looks a little unhinged, and I won't argue that. But when you see Ambrose dismantle his opponents with speed, high-flying attacks, and all sorts of violence, there's no doubt that there's definitely a method to his man. An early pin attempt. Come on, Riff. There's not a person in this arena who thought that was it for him. No, this guy's too strong. This guy's too powerful. shooting through his face. Uh-oh, what is Dean Ambrose going to do here? Look how slow he is to recover here. That was some serious punishment. That wild strike found nothing but empty air that time. <laughs> Man, that's what you call swinging for the fences and missing. Dean Ambrose with the excellent move to get out. statement as we speak he's taking some offense but we all know that he isn't afraid of a good fight which is what we're seeing here but it's important to know that this match has been so evenly contested so far here's a cover One, two, he's got some fight left in him you know you can never count this guy out cole he may be in the best physical condition i've ever seen him in he's delivering an old-fashioned boot kicking right here Sometimes that's all it takes. I don't want to know what that feels like. Yeah, well, I've felt it before, and you're right, you don't want to know. Uh oh, he's in position, ready to strike. Look at those eyes. Oh, yeah, this could be big. Look at this. And now Dean Ambrose could have this match in the bag. Looking for all the glory here. He did what he set out to do, and that was win. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Huntington Beach, California, weighing in at 282 pounds, the WWE Champion, Samoa Joe. Thanks for joining us for this matchup brought to you by 2K Sports. I love the people at 2K Sports. Oh, this capacity crowd here in Miami, really looking forward to this one.
from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton. You know, sometimes a superstar just has that look in his eye, and this is one of those times. Look out, this one's gonna be intense. Last week during Brock Lesnar's match, we were joined by the world champion here at the announce table and King by the look on his face. The Beast was not pleased by his presence. No, he wasn't. But Lesnar can't let things like that throw him off his game. If he wants to become world champion again, he's going to need to focus more on the action inside the ring and not what's going on outside it. Two superstars going head to head. I love it. But hey, the much decorated Samoa Joe always brings his A game. And I expect nothing less in this one. You've seen the all-time greats in this business, and you've been a partner of Orton's in tag team matches. What are your thoughts here? Could you imagine being Randy Orton's opponent just in there waiting, knowing the Viper can strike at any moment? It's got to be nerve-wracking. Yeah, well, the WWE is the ultimate warrior endeavor. It's a kill-or-be-killed game. Uh, metaphorically, of course. And now he goes for it a second time. Oh, I think this man needs business. You can bet that the crowd knows the history of Randy Orton. A third generation superstar. Fans know Randy truly is the Viper. The apex predator. And a man who is so cunning and so lethal, he... Oh, and another right hand. Hey, look at him. Yeah. From behind. What the hell is he doing out here? Are you kidding me? What is he doing? He's taking out everybody. What a statement being made tonight. The referee better watch out. He'll get, he'll get clocked, too. Why did he do this? What's he out here for? That was incredible. He's made a statement. No, no, no. This match is not going down like this. Ref, restart the match. The partnership looked good on paper. In practice, not so much. What an amazing display of power. Very, very painful hold here. What's he going to do? Watch it. And he powers out. These guys are giving it absolutely everything they've got. They're not holding anything back, and I love it. And he reversed it. Good move there. Man, he's still down after that move. I almost wonder if his bell got seriously wrong there. Really pushing his opponent to the limit here. can't get over the physicality of this match. This has been brutal. Brutal and very, very painful for these guys. It's time for everything, I guess. And a quick pin attempt by Samoa Joe. Real quick. Two gets the shoulder up. Uh, barely, but that's all that matters. It's up. Squeezing away on the throat with malicious intent. Ah! And he escapes the hole. The quick reversal there by Randy Orton. Oh boy. You know what's coming here? The famous Spike DDT. The toll from this match is really starting to show. I don't know how much more damage he can take. Hey! Shoulders down, is it enough? This may be it. And the shoulders up now. That's a kick out. Nice. Well, it's going to take more than that to keep him down tonight. And he fails to connect with anything that time. Man, that was some miss, all right. I can feel the breeze all the way over here. Well, I've never seen him do that before. Will this be it? I think he's got it. And the 
shoulders up now. That's a kick out. Nice. Wow, what a display of heart and determination. The strikes have a little extra on them tonight. Nothing fancy from him there. That was all raw power. Uh, nothing like a great body slam. Classic. Oh, you can't take many more shots in the face like that. Yeah, this guy's never going to look the same. Samoa Joe really seems to have picked up some steam. Great officiating. As the ref noticed, he was on the ropes. Oh, look at that. He managed to get a shoulder up. Well, like they say, Cole, timing is everything. He simply refuses to stay down. back on his feet, but you can see the abuse from this grueling match has definitely taken its toll. Oh boy, we've seen this before. Measuring his... Boom! Punt kick. Oh, oh, look at that. Whoa! Will it be? One, two... And the shoulder's up, it's only two. My God, what's it gonna take? I don't know, I can't believe this, Michael. Just when you thought it was over. Wow! Uh, Samoa Joe doing some damage. And knocking him right down. Oh, and he missed that one. God, that's got to hurt. Yeah, you're not doing any damage with swings like that, but keep doing it. The freeze may give him a throw. You got to move quicker than that. And now it's Randy Orton with momentum. Oh, his body has to be broken right now. He's kicking into another gear here tonight. And right now, Samoa Joe is visibly bleeding. Man, you don't see that very often from Samoa Joe, but he's in serious trouble. Oh, there it is, that Orton Spike DDT. Vintage. We now have to question if he'll be able to come back after that. Of the win. Here's your winner, the Viper, Randy Orton. That's an impressive win right there. That was simply a case of one guy determined to prove his dominance over another. What a match that was, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining us. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. Weighing in at 285 pounds, Bray Wyatt. There's something very eerie about Bray Wyatt's entrance, King. You're not kidding. I think I just saw a grown man crying in the third row. A lot of whispers backstage about whether or not this guy has what it takes to get the job done here tonight. electricity that's traveling through this arena and decibel level of the crowd, I think it's safe to say the roof of this building just might blow off. Oh, you're right. And there's nothing like a little WWE mano a mano to get that blood flowing. Enough of the preliminaries. Here we go. But hey, by the sounds of it, this crowd is ready for anything that happens tonight.
What an offensive show by Brock Lesnar. What are you thinking about Bray Wyatt? I can't think of too many superstars that the WWE Universe loves to hate more than this guy. We're going to find out a lot here tonight. Head to head, no excuses. Let's get it on. I gotta say, I don't know why these people hate him so much. I actually find him quite personable. Man, that got him good. He landed a perfectly placed strike. That'll send a message to your adversary, all right. Right, and the message reads, P-A-I-N. He's got the arm bar locked in. I'm not sure if I've ever experienced an eerie silence that falls over an entire arena like I do when Bray Wyatt announces he's here. Even in darkness, you can see the whites of people's eyes and the audience fixated on Bray Wyatt and frightened beyond explanation at what he's going to do. of fear and awe as when Bray Wyatt begins his ominous walk to the ring. Oh, look at this. When you go at an opponent like this, it means you're out for blood. The WWE World Book goes right out the window. Trust me, it's going to get ugly. Extra slow getting back to his base here. And he fails to connect with anything that time. Man, that was some miss, all right. I can feel the breeze all the way over here. Bray Wyatt digging down deep. I think you can tell by looking into the disturbing eyes of Bray Wyatt that he likes this. This man enjoys knowing that when he walks into an arena, people are frightened of him more with each horrifying step he takes. If that doesn't tell you what you need to know about Bray Wyatt, then I don't know what would. Well, Michael, I think now people everywhere realize what Bray Wyatt can do, and they all share that fear. That fear that he may enter the arena in their home city and carry out a massacre worse than what they previously saw. It's one thing to see it on television. It's another to witness it in person. Really pushing his opponent to the left.
amazing resilience. There's no keeping this guy down tonight. Drops it in with a vengeance. Oh, man. He came down hard with that. This match has taken so much out of this guy. He's not going to give up. But, man, this has been physical. That move did it. Now, this has gone way past the point of insults and gone right to humiliation. That's right. That was humiliating. How much more? How much more are you willing to pay to win this match? This is unreal. 